Mi Kyo-san. Welcome to Tokyo City University. Uh, I will give a presentation titled Om Omnidirectional Molecular Distance Estimation Applicable to Autonomous Driving. In recent years, the development of autonomous driving technology has led to a growing number of private sector installations. And autonomous driving have become a widely uh, recognized technology. <clears throat> In this field, a uh, four distance measurement and three dimensional measurement of the surrounding environment are indispensable. Typical sensors widely used are uh, include LiDAR and millimeter wave LiDAR. Although these sensors are highly accurate, uh, they are uh, generally expensive and have a narrow measurement range. In contrast, this study uh, focuses on uh, camera based measurements. Uh, which are uh, less expensive and can recognize wider area. This section describes the existing methods. Uh, in the field of the uh, camera-based measurement, many systems for recognizing a wide area have been studied. In this paper, a fisher camera is used as a stereo camera to uh, measure distance, which enables uh, measurement of a wider area than is possible with a normal camera. However, uh, the angle of uh, view of a visual camera is generally around 180 degrees, uh, so two cameras cannot uh, measure all direction. In this paper, fish uh, cameras are installed in four directions to measure distances, as shown in figure 6. Although this method enables uh, measurement in all directions, uh, it is possible uh, a problem in terms of the uh, use of twice as many cameras as either method. In this paper, I use an all sky camera with machine learning to detect, ob detect objects and calculate angle for omnidirectional measurement with two cameras. However, uh, this method has a blind spot due to the ex extended base range shown in figure 7, making it not a perfect omnidirectional measurement. <coughs> in a previous study uh, conducted by the authors, omnidirectional imaging used a uh, convex mirror and stereo measurement using vertical, I'm sorry, vertical disparity <coughs> achieve complete omnidirectional measurement. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> but it it's difficult to detect depths <coughs> in future areas and <coughs> you. <coughs> uh, sorry. Uh, uh, <coughs> we got the <coughs> device to up output accurate stereo images. So in this research, uh, <coughs> 360 <coughs> depth estimation with a molecular camera, uh, we aim to achieve higher measurement accuracy than its previous studies. To achieve our goal, <coughs> Yeah, please do take ah, water. Oh, right. You can oh, drink water, oh, right? Okay. Pause for a minute, drink water, oh, right? And then this relax. Is, uh, yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we propose method to acquire omnidirectional um, images using a uh, <coughs> single omnidirectional visual sensor and estimate tips with a uh, high accuracy. Hi, accuracy. My molecular depth estimation using machine learning and conversion to abs absolute distance uh, using an approximation curve. This configuration to uh, the progressive method. <coughs> <coughs> I fix the camera battery upward using a tripod and attach a hyperbolic mirror to the camera lens. Here is a flowchart of the proposed method. We will follow, follow this flowchart to explain the details of the proposed method. <laughs> Our objective visual sensor is a device that combines a hyperbolic mirror and the camera. <laughs> By photographing the objective uh, mirror from directly below, it is possible to take a 360 degrees Omnidirectional image with a single shot. This section describes the panorama development. First, the omnidirectional image is a circular crop. 
and divided into fourth. <coughs> Next, the expansion is performed by using a pass, pass, perspect projection transformation according to the following formula. <coughs> Finally, the panorama image is completed by merging the four expanded images. <laughs> this section describes the monocular depth estimation method. The, in this study, a machine learning model, MIDAS, is used for depth estimation. MIDAS is a powerful model that can estimate depth values <coughs> from the, any input image <laughs> uh, without requiring fine tuning. The figure starting showed the, uh, an example of MIDAS output. Depth estimation using machine learning has faced the challenge of collecting dataset. Because of the diversity of sensing, it was difficult to learn uh, uh, on a large scale. MIDAS introduces a loss function that uh, absorbs these diversities, allowing much pro dataset to be trained simultaneously. This study used <clears throat> this model for molecular depth estimation. Based on the <laughs> depth estimation result obtained by MIDAS, uh, exponential regression curve is utilized to co combat relative distances to absolute distances. The machine learning model is enabled to output distances with units. <laughs> In this research, um, exponential regression curve is derived from three points with known distances on the image, and the relative distances are converted to absolute distances. The flow, uh, flow of delivering the approximate curve is described below. First, uh, determine the three coordinates on the image and the corresponding uh, correct distance and minus output value. Next, the, the output value uh, of MIDAS is approximated to the correct distance. Preliminary experiments determine that the correct distance and the output value of MIDAS can be approximated uh, exponentially. <laughs> Let X be the output value of MIDAS and Y be the correct distance, and approximate them in the, in the form of this equation. This session describes the result of the research and its evaluation. To demonstrate the effectiveness of this study, two types of experiments will be conducted. <laughs> Depth image generation experiment and the absolute distance expansion experiment. First, let us uh, discuss the depth image generation experiment. This experiment will compare how much better the de depth image looks compared to conventional omnidirectional stereo sensors. The experiment conducted in two environments shown in figures 17 and 18. Experimental results first. Uh, we show the result in uh, environment one. Figure 19 is the original image, and uh, figure 20 is the depth image of conventional method. And figure 21 showed the uh, depth image output by the proposed method. Next, we show the result for uh, environment two. Figure 22 showed the original image, and 23 showed the, <coughs> the conventional method, and figure 24 showed the depth image output by the proposed method. As our results show that the detection is now possible for facial staging which has been an issue in previous research. Uh, these re re results indicate the effectiveness of this method. Next, we will discuss the absolute distance estimation experiment. <laughs> in this experiment, the accuracy of uh, measurement will be compared with um, uh, conventional omnidirectional visual sensors. The experimental environment is uh, shown in figure 25. 20 measure, uh, measurements were taken for each of six points. Uh, this is the result, uh, resulting image. The first measurement from 150 cm to 600 cm is shown. Table 1 summarizes the accuracy of proposed method, and Table 2 summarizes the accuracy of the uh, conventional method. Items uh, with superior accuracy are shown in red.
really set to standard deviation. Uh, all all location ought to perform the uh, convention method. This is due to the high stability of detection, as shown in the previous experiment. These results indicate the effectiveness of this method. This is conclusion. We propose a 360 degrees at more step dimension method applicable to the autonomous driving by the combined uh, omnilocal visual sensor capable of uh, cap capturing all direction in single shot. A molecular depth estimation method minus an absolute distance estimation uh, using approximate curve. Through two experiments, we are able to show uh, that uh, this, if this method is an effective measurement method. Thank you for listening. <clears throat>